Hello guys, Prophet Samuel Kakande has announced special touch on the 14th of December. This time round, special touch will happen on a Wednesday, not like Thursday as uh, normally it happens. So get ready, get ready. This video is all about, is all about uh, this topic of special touch, which is happening on the 14th of December. I don't know if it will be the last special touch because after that week, the next week will be Christmas. I don't know. We'll wait for the official communication from the prophet. Hello, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Fasanyama. Cleo with him. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. This channel will talk about the deep things of God in Christ Jesus. Also, your commentary video is not happening in the body of Christ. In this channel, I've talked about so many things about the Kakande Ministries, good things, how to go to the Kakande Ministries, what to do when you reach the Kakande Ministries, accommodation at the, at the Kakande Ministries. So many videos I've done for those who are willing, who want to travel to the Kakande Ministries in, in, in Uganda. Please check out my channel. There are so many videos I've done which will help you as you're planning to travel. So, I'd like to say that there's a mistake which most people do. You have heard that the special touch will be on 14th and you arrive in Kampala on 14th. You are too late. You are too late, my brother. If they have announced special touch will be on 14th, don't reach Kampala on 14th. Reach Kampala on 13th. Go to the church. Register. They will be given a visitor's card. Get a, you, you'll be, they'll assist you to get accommodation. Get accommodation. Settle down. Relax. Prepare for tomorrow. Then very early in the morning you go to the for the service. No, but the problem, you, you, you have heard that it is, it is announced on 14th, 14th. You take your flight, you arrive on the 14th. The service has still start, has, has already started. You are coming late. You learn to come early in church service so that you can, you know, enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come early. And I have, I have, I've, I've seen so many Kenyans get stranded at uh, the Kakanda Ministries in Kampala. Why? Because they come on the exact date. You come on the exact date. You come when the service is already taking place. You rush into the service. Now, the service sometimes, they, it ends very late. 10 a.m. Sometimes. At night. Now, you come out at that time. You don't know where to, to look for food. You don't know where. That's, when, that's the time when you start looking for accommodation. You see? Now, people start acting confused. And God is not a God of confusion. So this is why I usually advise my people when they are traveling, please travel, reach to Kampala a day prior to the meeting. If this special touch is 14, arrive on 13th. Get a place to sleep. Know where you eat. Walk around. Look at the restaurants around. Those who like Ugalis, like my fellow, fellow Kenyans, they like you Ugali. They don't like Matoke. You know, Uganda is Matoke, Matoke, groundnuts everywhere you go. If you don't like, go and look for, you know, hotels which have Ugali. In, in Uganda, they call it Posho. Look for the hotels where you eat. So that when you come from service, even if the service ends very late at night, you know where to go. You know where you're going to eat. You know where you're going to sleep. But for you, you just arrived the same day they have announced. Now, after the service, the service maybe has ended like 11 p.m., now you are, you, are, you are there, you are stranded, you don't know where to go to. It is late at night, you can't start walking around. Understand? So guys, plan yourself. Plan your journey. Don't, don't do things without planning. Our God is a God of order. If they've announced special touch, if they've announced special touch is on 14th, read on 13th. It will give you time to rest. The journey is too long. You give time to rest, get accommodation, register so that the, the following day you wake up very early in the morning. By 5 a.m. you are awake. You start finding your way to the church auditorium. Waiting for the service to begin. So guys, those who are going, make sure you have a passport. Temporary passport or permanent passport. Temporary passport, you get it in the, at the border. Now, uh, in Uganda, for most African countries, visa is visa upon entry. You just go with your passport, they stamp it, when you don't pay anything. Now, for people who are coming from, from, the United, from the United States, from the Caribbean, from the UK, from Germany, it's a different thing. There's a, there's a place where you apply visa online, you, you get a visa. And most of the time, if you want to come, you, you come as a tourist. 
many people have been able to have, uh, have assisted many people to come from from the western countries to come to Uganda and most of them have been able to come successfully using a tour, tourist visa. You just come as a tourist. Because if you say that you're going to Kakande Ministries, they'll ask you to get a letter from the Kakande Ministries, which is not possible. They can't write letters for you to come to Uganda. So you say you're just coming as a tourist. Most people who have gone, they have gone as tourists. Unless if, if there's another way, I'll let you know. So plan, have your passport, have your yellow fever vaccination. This is Africa. Don't mind about the cock crowing. Jesus said that the cock will crow three times before Peter denies him. Now, back to our, back to our business. Now, have a passport, have a, a, a visa upon entry, yellow fever vaccination, COVID vaccination if you have it, and uh, then you're good to go. Wear, carry your mask. Uganda people wear masks. Carry your mask. You know, in most, cases, in most nations, they forgot the issue of COVID. They don't mind. They don't wear a mask anymore. But in Uganda, people wear a mask and also try to avoid contact as much as possible because there was an Ebola threat. So when you go there, be careful. Take care of yourself. Avoid contact. Exchange money. Those who are coming by road, you can exchange at the border. Or there are also foreign exchange in Uganda. Also, um, for Kenyans who are going there, have your money in, uh, in M-Pesa. Have your mobile mobile money. Because it's easier to, to buy airtime using mobile money. Because you cannot get Safari Comrades recharge cards in Kampala or any other recharge card from a nation. But there's MTN in, in Kampala. And I know yeah, many African nations use MTN. So you can use MTN. But uh, uh, you can have dollars. The contribution money can be made in dollars, Ugandan money, even Kenyan shillings they take. But if you if you are there, you, you can do the bank transfer right when you are there. Then you show them the message. Yeah, if for those who are coming to contribute, so that's all you need to know. Prepare yourself. Yes, come with an expectant heart. Come ready. Fast. Pray prior to the to the day. And uh, as I've said, come early enough. Don't come on the exact date. Come a day prior to the meeting so that you can have time to get accommodation, settle down, prepare yourself even mentally, spiritually, so that you can be ready for the service tomorrow morning. So that when you go to the service, when you go to the service, the, the following day, you know, you are fresh and you are ready to receive a touch from heaven. So guys, the special touch is here. I don't know if this is going to be the last special touch. I'm not sure. We are waiting to hear because after this week, after the 14th, the following week, which is coming to be probably Christmas. So I don't know if there's going to be any meeting. I don't know. And you know, after Christmas is New Year. So there are, there are, there are, there are a lot of festivities, you know, in between after the 14th. After the 14th. So I don't know. And um, the, the prophet had said that he was planning to to open the church so that people can start con co congregating by December. And it has not yet happened. So I don't know. We are waiting for to hear announcements. And I'll be here to update you on what is going on but i am so much hopeful that i know that and, and i believe that by next year people will begin to congregate normally so that we can be visiting the church without waiting for the announcements so guys get ready those who are going to kampala safe journey may god bless you may god keep you may god increase you and uh, even as you are preparing for christmas may god bless you and i love you see you in my next videos so guys before i go I'm, I'm, I'm releasing a song about uh, a tribute to a prophet in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, which is coming out. There's a song which is coming out, a tribute for Prophet T.B. Joshua. It's coming out uh, very soon. This, over the weekend, is going to be out. I hope you are going to watch it and uh, share it with your friends and your loved ones. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name.